I'm Tim Lurch. I'm going to say hello to everybody at Jazz Guitar today. Uh, I was asked if I would make a video for the readership of this wonderful website uh, talking about uh, this beautiful guitar made by Linda Manzer. Linda made this guitar for me over the summer, this past summer of 2019. Uh, the story was that uh, we had done a guitar show together and I had played a couple of her guitars. We got to talking about this and that and basically she uh, kind of uh, snake charmed me into uh, <laughs> getting a guitar from her. No, that's not true. She, she just told me, I want to build you a guitar and uh, see how you like it. And um, she had had the back and sides of this guitar uh, built uh, and stored away. Uh, and then so she was able to make the guitar rather uh, quickly, uh, um, you know, in comparison to how long it usually takes. Uh, so I had this guitar after talking with her about it in May or into June. I had this guitar in my hands at the end of September of the same year for the Rocky Mountain Guitar Show, which is um, where I got my hands on it for the first time. A couple of interesting things about this guitar that I might share with you is that it's uh, about 25, a little less than 25 and a half inch scale. It's metric, so it doesn't come out to be um, exact. And it's got um, this beautiful open headstock design where you have, there's a space here. Um, have any fingerboard without any markers. Uh, there's side dots. Uh, it's basically a blue note except that usually on a blue note she will um, put a laminate top on um, that apparently she makes for herself and I talked her into making a carved top even though I had her plant this uh, Lawler Charlie Christian pickup in it and um, the volume and tone knobs are underneath the pick guard um, and so it's uh, spruce you know carved spruce top with a little a little bear claw right there the back and sides are beautiful um it has a one piece back i think you can see that and i've never seen a lar a one piece back this large it looks almost matched but it's one piece and it also has an interesting characteristic i'll see if i can show it to you it's got the manzer wedge which looks like that you notice that the the lower bout here is three inches and the upper bout is two inches um, and so it it sort of falls away um, uh, uh, so under your under your arm it's a little thinner um, I also noticed that that design reduces the bass a little bit in the guitar which is a good thing for me I think generally because amplifying um, a fully carved arch top guitar uh, can sometimes be a pain in the butt um, because the bass can get wolfy. Um, another thing I have a notion about is that this guitar, because it's got a pickup um, hanging from the top, uh, it does reduce the top a little bit. It dampens it a little bit, but I also think that it adds something as well. Um, I always, I've had this feeling that putting mass on the top right here tends to reduce dead spots on the fingerboard. And that could be completely my own idea, but it seems to be the case. Now, oftentimes there's a... E 
even on very fine arch tops, there's one or two notes that just are dead right up in here, and this one doesn't have any of that. Maybe that's a testament to Linda's beautiful uh, skill as well. Um, the, uh, the process of having it built was really, really wonderful. We exchanged emails um, about the various statistics. I had a, a lot of ideas about what I wanted in terms of um, the string spacing, the placement of the pickup, uh, and the nut width, all of which she complied with um, perfectly, and um, the uh, beautiful elegance of the pick guard here. Um, there's really not much more. It's a fairly simple guitar. There isn't really much more to say about it than, than that, and so I'll let it speak for itself um, as I play out. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 